it, all it has is a permeability of unity and uh, no other properties uh, are involved in the transfer, transverse magnet, magnetic problem. These problems take a, a fair time to solve because I'm at 10 kilohertz, so my, my pulse width is 100 microseconds. I have to solve it around about every mi one microseconds to get a nice smooth curve and to get the, the uh, solver to converge to a solution. So it could be a matter of several tens of minutes to get this solved. So I won't solve it. It's already been solved and I will try to illustrate its, uh, its results now. I'm just setting the uh, resolution of the magnetic field lines which I'm going to show. And we're going to use the animation facility which came available late in QF 5.6 and it's now, this is QF 5.7, we have the ability here to select an animation. And what it will do is it will publish or it will, it will graph the results for every time point that I selected in my model solution, it will, it will make a graph in, in, a, in a fast time so we can actually see the rise and fall of um, flux density around a sine wave. So it's rising now that the, the red is uh, approximately 0.4 Tesla, which is well into saturation in the ferrite. See it's saturating in the corner, as we all know. That's where our cores get hot on an internal corner. So the animation feature here will repeat continuously that the, the sine wave. It's only been solved for one sine wave, but the animation takes over and, and, and keeps repeating as long as we leave it active. Uh, being involved in induction heating, I couldn't resist making the conductor a solid heavy conductor and putting it close to the air gap where there is a, a strong magnetic field. And uh, I was actually able to make the conductor be heated by the induction from the field. Uh, spilling out of the air gap there. You can see that very closely in you see you can see the rising uh, we're not actually illustrating the magnetic field intensity here we're illustrating flux density. Uh, I can sh go now and show how I took the magnetic properties out of the manufacturer's data. Uh, I used uh, two references. I used the Ferox Cube Company, which is a major manufacturer of ferrites. Uh, it is a power ferrite designed for high flux densities. Uh, and the material was a Ferox Cube 3C, uh, 3C30 material. 